Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name is Soleil and I garden in Mid Michigan in his own 5B. And I actually went to Lowe's the other day and shockingly enough, they already had some things on clearance and I think that's because we had some freezing weather. So a couple of things were not looking that good. Um, but hey, that means that I got some new plants. So one of the plants that I got um, is right here and we're going to actually be doing these square planters today and I'm really excited to get these planted up because they're going to bring a nice pop of color to the spring garden and they should bloom all throughout the summer. So let's start by talking a little bit about the plants that we're going to be putting in. So this is called Grace Ward Lithodora and this is a trailing perennial that blooms in the spring and in the summer and it has blue little blue flowers on it i'll just show you the tag real quick that's what that looks like and this one um, because it's a perennial it is hardy down to zone five and it gets about six inches high and 12 inches wide and it's really meant to be a trailing plant so i think this is going to look really pretty trailing over the front of this pot Then I also picked up some dianthus and these are just a mounding annual and these are often sold as annuals as I just said but I like to grow them oftentimes as perennials in my garden. So even after these bloom and spend their time in this container in this fall I will actually be able to plant these out into the garden. So we have three of those that will help kind of fill out the space around that lithodora. And then I also have some bunny tails grass. Now I look, and <laughs> this looks just like crab grass right now, but this is gonna be really pretty. It actually has, and we'll try to post a picture on uh, the screen for you guys. It has some really pretty, um, I don't know what you call them, plumes, I guess, that come out of it. And they have like what looks like a little bunny's tail on it. And this is the softest grass ever. It's so nice to touch. So we have two of those that are gonna mound out the back. They grow to about 12 to 18 inches tall as well. So we're gonna keep this a nice compact planter, but something that has some color. So let's get planting. Now this soil has been in here for a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this out and I have a tray full of nice new fresh soil over here. And so I'm just gonna take some of this soil out, mix it in with that. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, some tone. I think it's garden tone or plant tone. I'm not sure which one it is, just so I have a little bit of fertilizer in the soil to refresh it this year. And that will ensure that we have, you know, plenty of nutrients down in this planter to take these through the summer. All right, I think that's enough to get out. And then we'll just do a nice scoop of this tone. Plenty of it. But the potting mix that I am kind of mixing this into actually has some mycorrhiza in it. Um, and it's called Sunshine Potting Mix, so it's a new one. I haven't used it before. I'm actually gonna shake the soil off of this root here. And we'll take that out of the mix. Um, but it seems to be working really well so far. I've used it with some of my seedlings and other things as well. There was also a little bit of mulch that was in that planter just to help keep the moisture in. And I'm just mixing that in as well. There's not a lot of it. If there was a lot of it, I would have just scraped it off the top and left it out. All right, so I think this is ready to go now. Let's get our plants in. All right, so we're gonna start in the back and work our way forward. I can tell that these have grown on really well. We have some really nice roots here. And we've got some good ones on this one as well. So I just wanna tuck these into the corner. And let's get this one in the front and then we'll pop some soil in before we add the dianthus. And I'm just going to kind of break this root ball up a little bit uh, so that it can sit in this container nicely. And I'm gonna tilt it a little bit towards the front just to enhance its ability to spill over the front edge. 
All right. Add a little soil underneath this guy back here. Now I do want to make sure that we have a little bit of a lip so that it can catch the rain and not just run off. Because this is a full sun planter. We are on the north side of my house right now, but it's quite open to the sun, which is on the south over there. And then these dianthus, these get about, I, I'm not sure if I said, but these get about 12 inches tall and wide as well. And so these should help to kind of fill in and mound a bit. So I'm not going for that whole thriller spiller filler look here. I'm just going for a mounding look with a spill because this is just kind of filling a gap in the garden that I think will look pretty. And plants are definitely going to fill in around this. We have lots of coneflower in this garden bed, and lots of salvia in this garden bed. So lots of purples and pinks, and I think these colors will fit in very nicely with the, the color scheme here. I do have to kind of deadhead these dianthus. They did get a little bit hit by some of the frost and freezes that we've had here. But they recover just fine. They have just, they'll just keep putting on more blooms. It's hard not to bury the foliage on these grasses. All right, so I'm just gonna pick these deadheads off or deadhead the spent blooms on here. And then we'll go plant the other one and then I'll clean these up by watering them as well. And we'll show you what they look like before we move on to our next project. Cause we've got a lot of projects this morning. A few other things to plant. Well, we're just gonna follow the same process on this side. We'll take the plants out. And I always find a nice way to figure out what you think might look lovely together is by putting these out here. And uh, I put these out here yesterday. And after I did that, I actually changed it up slightly because I wanted to just add a couple other plants into it after I had put it together. So, you know, it's also not too late to swap things out even after you plant if it turns out that something's not performing well or you don't really like the combination. So don't feel like you're stuck with what you chose choose in the beginning. You can always change it up. So these square concrete planters that I got, I got them at an estate sale that um, I can't remember I think my husband came across it or something like that and I was pretty excited about being able to get them for a really good price and they're made out of concrete so they should last a really long time and I've just put them on some of those little square patio pavers again I'm just gonna start at the back of this planter with the grass And these look really nice and healthy, so I think this soil, this sunshine mix is good. I think it's called Sunshine Pro Mix, and I got it at Lowe's. It comes in like a big square, and you have to like fluff it up. Um, but again, it's supposed to have mycorrhiza already in it, so that's always nice.
All right, so I'm getting this in again and I'm just kind of making sure I get it far enough down and then I want it to kind of mound over the front or trail over the front. And then we'll start filling in around the sides. And these were, these Lithodore, they were on clearance because they have a little bit of, you know, frost damage as well. But in about, oh, maybe two weeks, you probably won't even be able to tell. And uh, for about half off, I thought that was still a pretty darn good deal. I love the way the blue and the pink just pop against each other here. I think this is gonna be just a fun combination to watch grow together. It already really fills up this planter quite nicely, but as these dianthus grow on and the bunny tails grass, it's just gonna Go right over the edges and look even better. Kind of soften the edges of the concrete here. All right, let me get these cleaned up and then we'll show you what they look like and then we'll go on to our next project. So it's gonna rain later on today, and it rained last night. So really, I'm not trying to water <laughs> this pot so much as I'm just trying to dust off the flowers and the edges of the pot from the soil. The nice thing about today is it's cool outside and it's overcast so these plants are going to have a really great time enjoying their fresh new planter because they're also going to get rain tonight and that's just going to help them really fill in. All right, over here in the side garden, we have this little raised brick bed that um, we put together and we are growing on some things that the deer and rabbits and other wildlife should not like. So we're going to give it a go this year and see how it works out before we think about maybe doing something a little bit more permanent. So. Um, right now we have some alliums and these are the drumstick alliums and then we have a variegated sage plant right here which is a nice herb and then over here we have a rosemary which kind of wintered over but not completely so um, it does have some green on it and uh, we're trying to bring that one back to life. But what we're going to plant today are these ranunculus. We have these ranunculus that I grew on from corms. We pre-sprouted them and we potted them up. And now I think they're ready to go out because hopefully we're past our last freeze, but also these have been hardened off over several weeks time because they have been outside. So we're going to plant those along the side. This is called the secret garden mix and we'll try to put a picture up so you can see what that looks like. And then we're also going to take some of the lobelia that we grew from seed which is a blue trailing plant and we're going to tuck that into the four corners so that it can kind of spill over the edges so i think this is going to look really pretty let's get planting all right so we have just enough for five on each side so i think if we get these spaced out they'll be perfect and one of the things that is not completely symmetrical in this bed is the alliums. So I think I'm gonna pop a couple of these alliums out from over here and put them right up here along this edge, but we'll see, we'll see what we do here. Sometimes I just play things by ear. So 
So I might actually just line this whole front edge with the lobelia actually. And I do need to come through and cut these back because they definitely got a bit leggy. They've had to spend some time indoors while we had those really cold nights. So I'm just gonna pull back the mulch. We're gonna get a nice little spot for these to go in and I think they're gonna be so much happier once they get into this soil because their roots are at the bottom and they just haven't had really very good drainage. They've been outside in some of this rain. Um, tonight, again, it is gonna rain, but you know, the cool thing about rain is it's so much better for your plants. It's got all of these little micronutrients in it. And even though they'll be getting more moisture, which they don't really need, they definitely need a little bit of TLC from the rain. Hopefully we're past our frost date. I don't know you guys, we have a couple more, maybe a week and a half. So I'm taking a little risk here, but I'm not planting all of them. I'm just planting these out. And uh, if we lose these, I've got more. And that's kind of the bonus of growing things from seed. I mean, all of these only cost me like $5. So if I lose these, we're going to be okay. I'm also at the point where if I wanted to, I can bring that mini greenhouse right over into this area and put it over these and stake it in. or even a frost cloth, anything like that will help protect them.
Well, you guys, I think that this turned out really, really great. I can't wait to see this trailing lobelia come over the front of this. Now, this is on the west side of the house and the lobelia is that beautiful blue lobelia. And then again, we have that secret garden mix of ranunculus in here. And you know, this rosemary doesn't look too bad, right? Like it's still got life in it. And if it doesn't come back, I can replace it with another one. I just, um, you know, like to try to save money if I can and also, you know, not be wasteful. So it's important to me to try to work with what I have. But I also like, that kind of edging with the drumstick alliums at the back so we'll have some color from those as well and i think those will look really pretty just kind of bobbing in the wind in the background and the bird bath is looking really beautiful behind it so i think it just makes a really nice kind of approach to the back garden from the front don't you well, I hope you guys enjoyed joining me for this project today, as well as the one for planting out those square concrete planters. I look forward to bringing you some additional videos in the future so that we can see how these all fill out and turn out. But I think they're gonna be really beautiful, you guys. What's growing in your garden? What are you guys looking forward to planting? Do you have any special areas or anything you've grown from seed that you're looking forward to getting out? Let me know in the comments below. I enjoy talking with you and chatting about what's going on in your gardens. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye!